Hello, I'm James, and in Brazilian cave systems like this, there are some interesting bark lice species belonging to the Prionoglaridae family. These lice feature in the article, Independent Origins of Female Penis and Its Co-Evolution with the Male Vagina and Cave Insects, and are a great unique example of sexual conflict and sexual selection. This is the genus Neotrogla. Sexual selection is the process in which certain traits or behaviours are favoured by natural selection because they enhance reproductive success. The first type is intrasexual selection, which is competition between members of the same sex, like these two red deer stags fighting. The other is intersexual selection. This is the prefer preference of one sex for the specific trait in other sex. It's a great example of this is peacocks. Conflicts arise when males and females have different optimal reproduction strategies. This leads to evolutionary tensions which drive arm races between the sexes, shaping reproductive behaviours and traits. Prezygotic sexual conflicts prevent remating to ensure fertilisation prior to zygote formation. These include conflict over copulation, where males try and discourage females from remating, sexual harassment, where males coerce mating through physical force. And this is seen in water striders and garter snakes. Paternity control, as seen in dragonflies, is where males evolve mechanisms to remove previously deposited sperm. Then there's sexual cannibalism. This is seen in black widows, where females consume their mate after copulation, allowing full sperm transfer and reducing the chance of females recopulating. Most psychotic sexual conflicts ensure an individual's genes are passed on after the zygote has been formed. These include Infanticide. Males kill offspring sired by others to ensure maternal care is focused on their own offspring. This is commonly seen in lions. Parental care is beneficial for both parents, but it comes with a cost. In penduline tits, both parents win from mating with multiple individuals, but lose if the other parent does the same. Genomic imprinting is the expression or silencing of certain genes based on parental origin, and expression is either exclusive to either maternal or paternal alleles. What is the importance of this paper and why is it a good example of conflict and selection? So, what did they find? Yoshi Zara et al created the first molecular phenology of the squid tribe and they analysed the evolutionary patterns of their genitalia. Different members of the taxonomic family have varying complexity of female penis structure. They found that Afrotrogla and Neotrogla are in the same tribe but have significantly different female penis structures. They do not form a monophyletic clade, meaning they have separate evolutionary origins. They also found Neotrogla have simple pen female penis structures, but are closely related to species with complex ones. So it's likely that a secondary simplification evolved. The study detected a correlated evolutionary pattern between male and female genitalia. This co-evolution implies that both reproductive structures influence each other's evolution. Sexually antagonistic co-evolution like this is normally driven by sexual conflict. Evolution suggests that sexual conflict or cryptic male choice may have driven the diversity of female penis, similar to the male penis diversity in animals with conventional genitalia. Cryptic in this sense refers to the process occurring subtly and not obvious external displays. Traditionally, sexual selection is associated with female choice and male competition. However, these insects challenge this. It is interesting that conventionally fe females with a vagina have the choice, but in this case, it's the males with the vagina-like organ which have the choice of females with the best fitness. Yoshizawa et al's study challenges understanding of sexual selection by highlighting the complex interactions between different genders' reproductive systems. It is a new example that underscores how sexual conflict can drive rapid diversification of genetic traits. They influenced studies such as Sloan and Simmons, who found that females are largely neglected in genital evolutionary studies. They explore the diversity and driving mechanisms of female genital evolution and how it can also evolve rapidly and divergently. It's also been used in studies like this, where they investigate and test hypotheses on nuptial gift giving. And it also influences many more studies which look further into the female penis and male vagina cave insects. These are just a handful of them.
This study is evolutionarily novel, and it's these novelties that contribute to biodiversity and ecological success of these cave insects. And their dry cave environment imposes unique challenges for reproduction. This study provides insights into how genital traits evolve in response to ecological conditions, understanding how adaptations can inform broader ecological and evolutionary studies. Thank you very much for watching.